If you have ever listened to any speech or interview made by Julius Malema, leader of the South African Economic Freedom Fighters EFF, one thought that would pass through your mind is that this man is very bold. Julius Malema is one African leader who is not afraid to say his mind on any issue, regardless of how people would respond to it. And funnily enough, his thoughts on issues, whether they are international or local, are always controversial. But people love him for his courage and boldness. It is this same attribute that has elevated him to be the leader of the EFF and, most likely, the upcoming president of South Africa next year. The war in Palestine is not a holy war, it's an evil war. Because even here, the apartheid African regime used to say they are the chosen ones, used to say they are children of God and we are animals. So when the Minister of Defense of Israel calls Palestinians animals, we know what he means because we were called animals ourselves here in South Africa. A lot of influential people have expressed their views on the current Israeli-Palestine war, with some expressing their support for Israel while others showed support for Palestine. South Africa as a country has come out to express support for Palestine, with President Cyril Ramaphosa saying that South Africa's solidarity with the Palestinian people and its support for a peaceful solution and stressing that a peaceful solution to the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine will reflect positively on the entire Middle East. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine! We must make sure that those who support Palestine, especially our brothers and sisters, who believe that Palestine is under attack. This nonsense of Israel can only be stopped if South Africa takes a position and say leave, the whole African continent will join, the whole progressive international world will join and say Palestine embassies must leave. We are here to do a simple task, to tell Israel and the world to know that we are on the side of Palestine. We are not neutral because neutrality during the difficult times is equal to sailing out. Palestinians will remember the silence of those who kept quiet during difficult times. We are here today in Pretoria, the heart of apartheid. The reason why we are able to come and march here today and do it freely without soldiers carrying guns, without police carrying guns, without us being intimidated, is because the people of the world stood with us during difficult times. It was the people of Nigeria who took their money from their salaries and donated to liberation movement for us to get our freedom. It was the anti-apartheid movement in America, in UK, in many other parts of the world where the world stood in solidarity with us and said we will not sit down and watch the african apartheid regime killing our people in south africa that's why we have our freedom today when you are oppressed the only option you have is to fight and that's what Hamas is doing. They are fighting for their freedom. Mandela did the same thing, took up the guns and fought for the freedom of the people of South Africa. When you are oppressed, you only have one option. Confront the enemy and shoot to kill. Do not kiss the enemy. Why do you want to kiss the enemy? People came, took the land of the Palestinians. Every year they extend their occupation. When you look at the map of Palestine, there is nothing left of land in Palestine.
the people of Palestine have got nothing to lose but their chains. They must stand up and fight for their freedom and condemning Hamas is an act of cowardice. I heard some fools saying we can't compare Hamas with Mandela and them, they are the same. This president of Areta carried guns. He was shooting to kill, to liberate you. He was doing exactly what Hamas is doing. O.R. Tambo did the same thing. Chris Hani did the same thing. Winnie Mandela did the same thing. Steve Pico did the same thing. There is nothing wrong Hamas is doing. But where did this ANC and MK get money to have guns, to have ammunition, to have food? The international progressive world gave them guns, gave them food, gave them their camps, gave Cuba, gave them doctors. They were called terrorists, like Hamas is called terrorists. But people did not see terrorists in them, they saw liberators. The EFF, when it takes over next year, is going to arm Hamas and make sure Hamas has got the necessary equipment to fight for their freedom. It can be that the people of South Africa who are beneficiaries of international solidarity sit back and allow this nonsense to go on. We don't want apartheid Israel. And uh, when we say we don't want apartheid Israel, it must never be confused with the fact that we are saying we don't want the Jews. It's not true. There are a lot of white people in South Africa when we're fighting a white apartheid regime. One of them is here. He joined the struggle against white apartheid in South Africa. Yet he was white because he never saw that struggle as a struggle against white people. He saw it as a struggle to liberate the oppressed masses of our people. So where are the progressive Jews to stand up and say we do not associate ourselves with Netanyahu? No one must go around saying we are fighting with Jews, not in our name. We are not fighting with Jews, we are fighting with an apartheid Israel and it shall fall. It's just a matter of time before the illegitimate government of Israel falls. Comrades, we are not only going to arm Hamas, we are going to remove this embassy. Because... We can't stay with murderers in the same area, breathe the same air with people who kill innocent people. Don't listen to those who are here on Friday coming for PR. They've got the power to remove this nonsense behind this truck. They are not removing it. Why? They are getting money from the Israeli government. That's why they are scared of the Israeli government. Cyril Ramaphosa was made a president with the money donated to him by the Jewish people who are behind this Israeli embassy and the Israeli government. Those who gave Cyril money are the Jewish people who are not progressive, are Jewish people who want to perpetuate the apartheid Israel and the oppression of Palestine. That's why Cyril can't say anything. He went to the ANC, NEC, wear a scarf. Yes, yes. Those Jewish people were like, where well, nah. now? You wear a scarf with Palestinian scarf with our money. He had to issue a statement to explain himself. There is nothing to explain, even ourselves when we live here. We are not explaining anything to anyone. We make no apology for being here. Comrades, call to action.
McDonald is giving the soldiers of Israel food in Israel. We want McDonald's South Africa to distance itself from what is happening in Israel. They've got until the end of this month to issue a statement distancing themselves from what McDonald's is doing in Israel, giving murderers food to murder women and children. Comrades, Woolworths has got a responsibility by end of this month to remove every product on their shelves that comes from Israel. If they don't remove products from Israel, we'll go and remove them ourselves.